Have you ever felt trapped in a relationship due to intense physical intimacy? This is a question that can be difficult to answer, but it's crucial to understand it, especially in the context of narcissistic behaviors. Today, we're delving into a sinister tactic often employed by narcissists, known as sex bombing. This is a strategy where the narcissist showers you with intense physical affection, clouding your judgment, and making you feel an overwhelming sense of attachment. But why is this important? Well, it's crucial to recognize these signs as they can be the first steps towards a manipulative and potentially harmful relationship. By understanding this tactic, you can become more adept at identifying the red flags and protect yourself from falling into the narcissist's trap. So, with that brief introduction, it's time to peel back the layers and explore the dark underbelly of narcissistic manipulation. Now, let's delve deeper into the process of sex bombing. Opening Sex bombing is a manipulative tactic used by narcissists to create a sense of intense attraction and bonding. It's a rapid-fire romance that might feel like a whirlwind of passion, but in reality, it's a calculated move by the narcissist to gain control. Now, let's dig a bit deeper into this. Narcissists use sex bombing for several reasons. Firstly, it helps them create a powerful bond with their victims. They shower their victims with affection, making them feel incredibly loved and desired. This intense attention can quickly lead to a strong attachment, making it difficult for the victim to question the narcissist's motives. Secondly, narcissists use sex bombing as a way to feel powerful and in control. Narcissists crave constant admiration and attention. By using sex bombing, they can feed this need while also having a sense of power over their victims. It allows them to dictate the pace and intensity of the relationship, keeping their victims off balance. Thirdly, sex bombing serves to disrupt the victim's judgment. The early and intense focus on physical intimacy can cloud the victim's ability to see the narcissist's red flags. The victim is so overwhelmed by the passion and intensity of the relationship that they may overlook or dismiss signs of manipulation. Lastly, sex bombing can create a sense of obligation in the victim. After showering the victim with so much attention and affection, the narcissist may make the victim feel like they owe them something in return. This can lead to the victim feeling guilty or obligated to please the narcissist, further trapping them in the relationship. So sex bombing is essentially a psychological trap. It's a manipulative tactic that narcissists use to gain control and keep their victims hooked. It's a cycle of intense affection followed by withdrawal designed to keep the victim off balance and dependent. Closing, but how do you identify when you're being sex bombed? How can you tell if what you're experiencing is genuine love or a manipulative tactic? In our next segment, we'll look at some of the warning signs of sex bombing and how to protect yourself. Identifying sex bombing can be challenging, but there are some key signs to look out for. Let's delve into these signals so you can better protect yourself from falling prey to this manipulative tactic. First off, an extremely early and intense focus on physical intimacy can be a warning sign. If someone is pushing the pace, making you feel like they're head over heels for you right out of the gate, it's wise to take a step back. Love and connection develop over time and it's not natural to be swept off your feet in a whirlwind romance in the blink of an eye. Secondly, a lack of genuine interest in getting to know you as a person can be another red flag. Narcissists often focus on surface-level traits, such as physical appearance, rather than digging deeper into your personality, values, or interests. If the person you're dating shows little interest in your life, your past, your dreams, or your fears, it might be a sign that they're more interested in controlling you than in truly understanding you. Thirdly, pay attention to how they portray the relationship. A narcissist may idealize your connection, making you feel like your soulmates destined to be together. While this might seem romantic at first, it's often a tool used to manipulate your emotions and keep you hooked. Finally, a sudden withdrawal of attention can be a telltale sign of sex bombing. After showering you with affection and attention, a narcissist may suddenly become distant or unavailable. This abrupt shift is designed to keep you off balance, making you crave their attention and affection and making you more dependent on them. If you're noticing these signs, you might be wondering how to handle this situation. We'll cover that in our next segment. Remember, knowledge is power. Being aware of these tactics can help you navigate relationships more safely and recognize when you might be dealing with a narcissist. If you're being sex bombed, it's important to know how to protect yourself. First and foremost, it's crucial to slow down the relationship. 
Even if the initial intensity feels exciting and flattering, it's essential to remember the importance of pacing. A healthy relationship isn't a sprint, it's more of a marathon. It's about getting to know each other genuinely and gradually, not rushing into an intense physical relationship overnight. Next, it's vital to pay attention to red flags. These may include an overly intense focus on physical intimacy, a lack of genuine interest in getting to know you as a person, idealization of the relationship, and sudden withdrawal of affection. These signs can be subtle and easily masked by the initial flood of attention and affection, so it's important to stay vigilant. Then, there's the matter of emotional validation. Narcissists are notorious for their inability to provide the emotional support that a healthy relationship requires. Therefore, it's essential not to rely on a narcissist for emotional validation. You are deserving of love and respect just as you are, without needing to prove yourself or change to meet someone else's standards. Lastly, if you feel you're being sex-bombed, reach out to someone you trust. This could be a friend, a family member, or a mental health professional. Sharing your experiences can provide much-needed perspective and support. It's sometimes easier for others who are not in the midst of the situation to see things more clearly and provide objective advice. Sex bombing can be a disorienting and damaging experience. The whirlwind of intense affection can quickly turn into a cyclone of manipulation and control. But remember, you don't have to navigate through this storm alone. There are many resources available to help guide you, from support groups to professional counseling services. Remember, you are not alone and there are resources available to help you navigate through this difficult situation.